purpose of the exercise is to defend a national vital asset. Um, and what we do is we deploy an integrated air defense network, so a missile defense zone. And enabled to make all the parts talk together, that's where they call us in, the 282nd. We're the communication squadron. And so what we do is we make it so the um, radar in the field can talk back here, then can talk out to higher headquarters like NORAD and CONAR. So what our role is to make, all the, make sure all the moving parts can communicate with one another so they can make sure they can defend the vital asset that's been, that's been singled out. Um, our unit's been doing this for about now two, two and a half years, working with the Army, and we developed a relationship with them, being able to know what they need and being able to supply them with all the critical communications they need. The other thing is, when they get tasked, what we're trying to set up is, can we deploy this missile defense system fast? So our job is to provide them communications fast, and we've demonstrated that time and time again that we can actually do that for them, and that's a critical factor. Not only do they have to be able to connect to all the different parts, higher headquarters and the folks in the field, they've got to do it quickly. And, and time and time again, we've been able to show that we can do that for them. Well, first thing off, if there's any civilians out there, I tell them, uh, come on in and sign up with the 282nd. We're open. We're looking for recruits, so I'd be happy to take their name. The other thing is they should be really proud of what we're doing. This is defense of the homeland. So the situation that we're always talking about is, say there's intel that something's under threat, no matter where it is. They should feel, they should feel very comfortable but that working with both the Army and the Air Force, we're going to defend that vital asset. We're going to make sure it, it, it stays protected. And that's what we're committed to, and that's what we're going to work hard, you know, 24 hours a day to make sure we can accomplish.